teach you a lesson that you'll never forget. Morning, morning, morning. Hey kids, how are you this morning? Who has had a brilliant half term? I know that you've had a brilliant half term because I've had so many pictures and videos of what you guys have been up to. And what I'm very excited about is there's three new faces on our news of the week this week, which is Joshua and Zachary and Jude. So I just want to say hello. And I hope you feel really welcome, even though um, we're actually not meeting in church at the minute, but um, we will very, very soon. And it'd be really, really great when I can meet you face to face. So we just say hello from all the Sunday School team and um, just say that you're really, really welcome. So look out for those new faces when we do news of the week. Now we have been talking about Joseph, haven't we, the past few weeks? And today is the final bit of um, Joseph's story, which we're going to see a little bit later on. But I just want to just dive straight in there because I want to show everybody what you have been up to this week. So what's everybody been up to in part one?
online, we're actually not gonna do Martin's 10 second challenge anymore because we just felt that actually sometimes we can do it and sometimes we can't do it. And I think people are so, so busy that sometimes it's quite tricky for, for you guys to send things in. But if you want Martin's 10 second challenge back, then get your parents to send me in some 10 second challenges and it will be back on the screen. But it's not all bad because we still have Where in the world is Martin? So Martin, where in the world are you? Competition time. So where in the world? Did you get last week? Well done if you did. Clues for this week. Now this country is a long, long way away. So let's say you went to go and see the Queen for tea. That would be about 200 miles away from Liverpool. Now this country is a whole 9,500 miles away. Now that's a long way away. The country looks like this. Now the capital city of this country is Canberra. What does the flag look like? Next clue. The flag looks like this. Have you got the country yet? Now, language. In this country, if they wanted to say hello, they would say hello, because they speak English. Actually, they'd probably say, g'day, how you going, mate? Counting, they'd say one, two, three, four, five, because they speak English. So, have you got it yet? Final, final clues. Two of the most famous animals from this country. Do you know what this is and what country it is? Probably. And here's another one. And that's another animal from this country. What a pair of quality animals they are. So, do you know where in the world? Mm. Ooh. So they speak English, mm, the kangaroos. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. Do you know? Do you? Well, if you know, send me in um, your answers and then I will pick out of the jar and see if you've won next week. Now we're gonna talk about Joseph and we're gonna see a short clip about what happened um, to Joseph and his brothers and his dad. Stop! Why do you repay good with evil? One of you has stolen my silver cup. Oh, I don't understand. No, I couldn't. Thief! For this crime, you will remain here in Egypt as my slave. Oh, I don't know. No, I understand. Please, if Benjamin doesn't return home with us, our father will die of grief. He stays. No! No! Take me instead! No, me! Please, Great One! When you threw me down that well, you meant it to be a bad thing. But in the end, God has turned it into something good. I came to Egypt and helped keep a nation from starving. It's me, Benjamin! Joseph! It's true, I'm Joseph. Oh, can't you tell it's me? Look closer and you'll see the eyes of your lost brother. I am so glad to have my family gathered here. It's so good to God 
Gather your families and our father and come live with me in Egypt. Joseph, God be praised. You're alive and well. Joseph and his family were never apart again. And God, who helped them survive the famine, raised up a great nation from this family. So Joseph learned that even when bad things happen, God can turn them into something good. Oh, what a great ending. What a great, great ending that Jacob and his brothers came back to Egypt. Who's really enjoyed the story of Joseph? Who has learned? Oh my goodness, there were so many lessons, wasn't there, about Joseph. And there were so many lessons what we could learn about Joseph's story. And I think the, the main, there was a couple of really main things that, that went right through Joseph's story was one was trust that he just trusted in God, didn't he, all of the time. But the one big thing that I think is, is a really, really big lesson of Joseph's story is that even though bad things happened to Joseph, God turned them into good, didn't he? Um, so even though when he got put into prison and the pit and just all of those things, God turned it into good. And talking about that, turning things into good, last week was quite a, a dark week, wasn't it? And we had Halloween yesterday, and you might have seen, and I don't know whether they've been shown yet, it might be shown on the, the news later, um, but people have been going pumpkin, pumpkin picking and carving. And I just think this is a great example of turning something that is that is not great into something that is really, really good. And I've loved seeing your pumpkins, kids, of um, Jesus's and um, crosses and hearts and smiley faces, because last week um, there was a lot of scary, dark things, but it's been so brilliant to see how you have turned something, um, like your pumpkins where people would usually do scary faces, you've turned them into smiley faces and you've turned them into really lovely things. Things, and you've turned them into things that represent light, which is God. And that is so lovely that when people walk by your um, front door, if it's in your garden, they won't see a scary face. They will see a cross or they will see Jesus's name lit up with the, with the titty light in it. And that is true, isn't it? You know, there is no darkness with Jesus. And even though there was darkness um, last night, when Jesus is is in the middle of that darkness there is light there is so so much light so well done kids for turning into something that was really dark into something that is really light by actually showing the world that jesus is 
the light of the world. And talking about Jesus being the light of the world, I, I did, yeah, I, I kind of resisted this week. Don't know about next week. Um, something very, very special is coming up, isn't it? In quite a few weeks time. Um, and I am like Mrs. Christmas um, and everybody that knows me, yep, this house is like Santa's Grotto and I absolutely love it. And obviously I know it's only November, but talking about Jesus being light of the world, I thought, well, we need a Christmas bake. And uh, Alice has got a Christmas bake. And I think actually it's about now. I know that people actually, I think they've started making them in like August. You start making your Christmas cakes. So Alistair, tell us how to make a Christmas cake. Oh, come on, ye faithful. Joyful and triumphant. Oh no, Sunderland. Don't try singing. You will never make the worship band. Hello, Kelsters. Why do you think I'm trying to sing a Christmas carol today? Because, as you can see in the background behind my big head, it's still autumn. I'm singing about Christmas. And would you believe the Master Baker? has already bought all the Christmas presents. And so what's good planning got to do with all of this? Well, Jesus didn't just come to earth at the drop of a hat. God didn't just look down and say, hmm, things are getting a bit messy on earth. I think I'd better send my son to sort them out. We read that he planned it long ago. It's all about planning. And we're going to make a Christmas cake today. Sounds a bit scary, I know, but mini family-sized Christmas cakes rather than a whopping tribal Christmas cake. And so the ingredients are manageable and the baking time is reasonable. And I'm not going to show you how to ice it because I don't know. And here's the baking tin with greaseproof paper into in it so that the cake will come out properly. And it's about eight inches across. And here's just another tip. We've also wrapped the tin in rolled up brown paper with a brown paper lid. Or you could use newspaper. If we didn't do this, the outside of the cake would burn and the middle would still be soggy. And guess what? We've gone really technical. We had a special big birthday in the kitchen and this thing has arrived. But this can all be hand mixed. Uh, it's a three stage operation. So we're gonna mix the butter and marge, the eggs, and the soft brown sugar into the bowl uh, and cream them up. Mix it until it's nice and creamy. And then when that's all done, put the dry ingredients in. That's the flour the ground almonds and the mixed spice and cinnamon, the spices. Mm -hmm. And in with the flour and the cinnamon. Stage three, the special people. Add the mixed dried fruit, the glacy cherries and pour in one tablespoon of brandy or some other alcohol like that, providing your parents agree. If not, you could put some orange juice in. That's the whole cake in the mixer. So remember, three stage operation. You spoon it into the pre prepared, lined and wrapped baking tin. Just like that. Leave the oven at 170 fan at 200 non fan. Gas mark six for two to two and a half hours. There it is, in the oven with its little brown paper hat on. After two hours, check it with the pointy thing. Yeah, see, I made it baked with a loved one. Check it with the pointy thing uh, by prodding the cake. And if the product comes out clean, it doesn't have any bits stuck to it, then it's cooked. And there, Two and a half hours after entering the warm cozy oven, 
Here's your base Christmas cake, all ready to be iced and decorated and celebrated on Jesus' birthday. Enjoy. Brilliant singing, Alistair. Like, I was so joining you there. Absolutely brilliant. Um, who's excited about Christmas? I am very, very excited about Christmas. Um, but obviously it's only November, so I just need to just put a lid on it. So there you go then. If you're not made your Christmas cake yet, get baking. And I would love to see those pictures next week. Now talking about pictures, who wants to see what everybody's been up to in part two? just been so so nice 
Um, but if you have more pictures and more videos of the, the things that you've been up to um, last week, and you've not yet sent them in, please, please, please send them in because I really, really want to see them and everybody else really wants to see them. Who's had um, a really fun time this morning about learning that um, even though uh, bad things, even when bad things happen, like Joseph, God turns them into good. And you guys with your pumpkins, uh, when you turned your pumpkins from scary faces into smiley faces, you have shown the world that Jesus is the light of the world. And we made Christmas cake, which is all about Christmas. And Christmas is all about Jesus being light of the world. It'd be really great to pray. Tig's gonna come and lead us um, in a prayer this morning. And then after, we are gonna um, sing a song about Jesus being light of the world and it's this little light of mine. And then we will see you next week. Bye kids, bye. Hi, I'm Tig and we're gonna do the prayer now. Everybody do this, everybody do this, and everybody do this. Thank, thank you that your light always shines and nothing can defeat you. Help us to remember that we don't need to be afraid of anything, but we can put our trust in God. LZ7 Let your light shine on Yeah, yeah, this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine I'm gonna put it on a stand I won't give up the fight I'm gonna stand for courage I won't be discouraged Gonna stand in the truth And that the truth is knowledge I am blessed and blessed and blessed To have a love like this, like this, like this Yes, I am a son of the king I know that I'm accepted Have a destiny and I won't be rejected I want you to feel it So that is why I say this I let it out, spit these bars Making God famous I'ma let it shine Little light of mine Put the news on a stand and I won't let it hide So you can come and ask and I will tell the truth Cause my story stands before you and it's living proof If he did it for me, then he'll do it for you He's knocking on the door, so what you gonna do? This little light of light of mine This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine Will testify and live my life The grand design, I believe it Yeah, you're the reason why Now I see it, no longer faking, no longer confused So I give you praise cause I love what you do Cause you give me something people don't understand Yep, you know you make me wanna be a better man so I'm gonna go out and talk to your people Yes, 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 I'm gonna talk to your people Give them the chance to get up and to hear the truth and the truth is you're the reason why I'm breathing cool. This little light, light of mine I'm gonna let it, let it shine This little light, light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, oh, let, it shine. let it shine, let it shine Let it shine, oh, let it shine Do you wanna be sent to the nation? Are you gonna change your generation? Is it gonna be your motivation? All you gotta do is start a conversation. Do you wanna be sent to the nation? Are you gonna change your generation? Is it gonna be your motivation? All you gotta do is start a conversation. This little light of light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, let it shine. Let it shine.